Hey guys, anybody so up here? Welcome back to the channel. Now, today I wanted to share with you guys some of the best widgets available for your iPhone right now. I posted an image on Twitter. You guys were asking about the widgets that I'm currently using. I wanted to share the best ones available right now and the ones that I'm currently rocking on my iPhone with my setup so you guys can enjoy these as well. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now the first thing i wanted to share with you guys is the app that i'm using in order to get these widgets so you want to go ahead and download the wiggity application right there it is is available in the app store you can download it for free it has a premium tier if you want to unlock multiple widgets for the actual application but if you only want to use one you can use it for free here and the first widget i wanted to share with you guys this one is reminiscent to the ios 16 leaks you may remember when i talked about the info shack which could be a widget style platter that Apple is working on for iOS 16. Now you see here I have my um, emoji right there. I have also the weather which I can tap. It's sort of interactive in a way. You also have maps as well. Now uh, these toggles here do not work but everything else kind of works here on this widget and again this is based on the iOS 16 uh, leaks. Uh, Apple could be working on this. So in order to get this one this one is a large widget. You go into the widget application. Again links will be down below for you to download it. You go into the explore tab here and you want to go ahead and sort it by large so you'll have to sort here by large because it is a large one so just untick all these other ones and then just go ahead and select the large here and you want to go ahead and try to find it unfortunately this application doesn't have a specific way to search for a widget but there it is you can tap into this one here and if you want to change your emoji you can also do that it'll be the standard one there from the developer I'm assuming you could click import and it will import it of course I've already done that so it's right here where it says create that's where you want to go next tap into the widget and here you can click on edit and once you click edit right here you can find your groups all the way at the bottom you want to tap into the groups categories just kind of unfold that just like so tap on the groups again just like so and let's go back one more time so let's go to groups here and then we scroll down until we find the emoji images so let's go and find the emoji image by the way that is the background you can remove the background just like so right there and let's see if we can find the actual info shock image for the emoji there it is so this one is the emoji the one right under the mini widget colors right there so you want to tap into these three dots here and you want to click replace we're going to tap in images here and then we want to go into the actual files right here let's go into the files themselves right there the images and then we want to go ahead and select system which is ios and then we're going to go to image library which will bring us directly to the photos application and if you have an image of your memoji you can change it like i mentioned before i already did so let me go to show you how i did it for example if i want this one here all i have to do is tap into that and there it is so that's how you change the actual widget then you can click confirm and obviously then you want to go into the manage and then go ahead and set it up as one of your widgets so let's go ahead and choose spot one there it is and it should change my emoji just like so and everything else is pretty simple right you can kind of to customize the widget as you wish just take your time around it pretty simple stuff to do now the next widget I wanted to share with you guys is this one up top here now this one is so cool because this one is sort of matte black and I'm really digging this one here we have functionality as well so if we tap into the airplane mode options here it takes us to the actual app and then go ahead and lock it with airplane mode now this one's going to require an additional extension for your shortcuts application which is the wiggy right here uh, tools which will be linked in the description by the way when you click click on airplane mode on this one for the first time it will suggest to download that actual extension for the tool right there but with that tool you can also set uh, things like the cell network so I can turn off the cell network as you can see right there directly from the widget turn it back on as well as you can see right here it turns back on it does run the shortcut but you do have some type of functionality as well and we also have the weather and the, these toggles here which tells you the actual brightness and it also tells you the volume and things like that it looks pretty dope I think and last but not least I wanted to share another cool one that I've been using recently and this one I want to say is sort of a launcher so you can launch apps from it you also have information in regards to the battery the brightness the weather and things like that is pretty cool all these will be of course inside of the widget application I'll show you here in a few seconds but if I launch Twitter obviously it's going to open Twitter there for me which is super cool I've been using this one recently a lot so it's pretty dope to have now not every single extension here is working but most of them are so this is Instagram as you can see right there and it's super cool it's 
sort of like a launcher for your iPhone. Now this one, uh, again, as I mentioned, is going to be inside the widget application here. And this one is a medium sized widget and you can customize it. Of course, once you import it, you can remove the background as I showed you before. So if we go to create here and I go to edit, I can go ahead and click edit. Oops, sorry, click the wrong one. Let's go ahead and click edit here quickly. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and edit the background on this one here. So let's go in here once. And then we're gonna click on edit right there we go. And then you wanna find the background image. It should be under groups here. Let's see if we find it here. You see all the extensions are available right here. There's the image. You can kind of see that it changes the image right there for you. So you can do that as well and also add your own wallpaper. It's pretty simple stuff. This one, again, iOS 16 inspired. A lot of rumors say that Apple's working on this. The second one is just super dope and it also brings functionality to the home screen like airplane mode and cell network. You can enable or disable. The same thing applies for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And of course, sort of an app launcher, which I'm currently rocking as well. Super cool widgets. I thought I'd share this one with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.